It might seem a little weird, but the combination of this sea and these rain clouds account for a huge charge of energy, blue energy. And here in the north of the Netherlands, two companies combine their strength in an attempt to harvest that energy. But before we dive into that, let's see what type of energy we're talking about. Salt water and fresh water flow along ion-selective membranes. Due to the concentration difference, salt ions permeate through these membranes from salt water to fresh water. Negatively charged chlorine to the left, and at the same time, positively charged sodium to the right. This charge transport we can easily transfer into electricity. And that is happening right here in Harlingen, where salt water and fresh water are brought together. Well, we started in the lab on a milliwatt scale and on a watt scale, and basically we're expanding this here in this uh, demonstration site. We also operate a larger pilot plant on a kilowatt uh, scale here in this salt factory. And then we have the Afstadijk nearby. This is a place where uh, river water flows into the sea and which is dammed off. So very easily we can uh, subtract the, the fresh water there, the river water, and mix that in a blue energy installation with seawater. There, potentially, uh, we can produce 200 megawatts of power, of course, provided that all this research that is going on now goes according to our expectations. The research is done in this salt factory. In the salt factory we have all the flows available uh, needed to completely test a piece of equipment like that. Uh, that is from uh, fully saturated salt water to fully salt free water, distilled water. And those flows are needed in high qualities uh, to test this equipment to scale up from laboratory testing uh, to fully commercial uh, equipment. In potential, blue energy can be used in many parts of the world. Everywhere where a river flows into the sea, you could apply this technology. Of course, first we have to demonstrate the technology further here, but once it's mature, we could. And then, of course, every uh, delta uh, could be an energy producing region. And so this, this is very interesting and a very green source of energy. It is estimated that 20 to 40 percent of the global energy need can be harvested by using blue energy. So maybe rain clouds over the ocean might not be a pleasant sight if you're planning a day at the beach they could prove to be crucial for the future of this planet.